challenges from joining Louvre Hotels Group was uh, I was very attracted to a large company where the executive team worked really well together. And uh, the good thing about Louvre is that uh, they're able to make decisions very quickly. So despite the large size, uh, the executive team works really co closely and we're able to uh, you know, react to market conditions very quickly. Uh, and apart from that, my personal interest was that I always wanted to work in a discipline which combined uh, distribution, revenue management and e-commerce. So this position gave me the opportunity to do that all together and apply my learnings. Uh, so that was my main interest. And coming back to France was always a pleasant thought. Uh, so it was good to be back after 10 years. I would say that uh, obviously the points in time when I took some time off to put uh, to invest in education, I think those were really critical. And uh, right after my undergraduation and right after the EME program, I think the first few years were really critical. Uh, because first of all, it's a big decision to invest time and money in, in education. And then what you do really after that is, uh, is critical. So for me, and then right after EME, again, I decided to stay with the industry and then pursue my ambition in, in distribution revenue management. Yeah, I think it's getting more and more complicated and, and more fun at the same time. Uh, I think uh, the actual hotel operations hasn't changed over the last many years. But what has happened is that uh, distribution has become more and more complex. For the same amount of business, uh, the distribution channels are getting more and more expensive. And sometimes they're moving from a cheaper channel to a more expensive channel. So <laughs> my thought for the industry is very fragmented right now. So we probably will see some consolidation, uh, you know, in third party distribution, etc. Um, and it'll become more and more technology uh, oriented. So as and when new uh, platforms emerge uh, through search engines and through Google and through the internet, I think the hoteliers will have to continually adapt themselves and train themselves to make sure that they're investing the right amount of uh, time and energy to, uh, to expose themselves on all, all channels. EMI was a great experience. I think, I think the biggest things for me at EMI uh, were basically the, uh, the international environment, uh, the, uh, the learning that I got from uh, you know, people from different parts of the world. Everything, even though it was a master's program, it was uh, specifically designed towards hospitality. So we could do case studies from different parts <coughs> of the service industry, as well as from different parts of the world. Uh, so that actually broadens your horizon uh, quite a bit. And it also gives you the time to basically invest in uh, different disciplines that you otherwise won't have the time to uh, study. So we were able to de develop our skills in finance and accounting and hotel development, which was really good. And uh, the biggest takeaway for me obviously was uh, uh, the lifelong uh, friendships that we uh, <laughs> made, not only with the uh, students, but also with the faculty. Uh, EMI ESSEC, frankly, is, uh, is a bank <laughs> for us. So it's a bank which is harvesting talent. Uh, it's really important for us uh, especially for a company like ours, which is uh, a mid-sized company. Um, and we basically need uh, people who are obviously trained technically, uh, but at the same time, uh, you know, they're really flexible and they can adapt to the growing needs uh, in the market. Uh, because at every stage of hotel operations, be it at the field level or at the corporate level, you need people of different variety of backgrounds and skill sets. And uh, EMI and ASEC is a place where you can get actually all varieties of, uh, of students with, with varying backgrounds which can apply themselves in different situations. So it's, it's, uh, it's great to have a school like EMI and ESSEC. Uh, my main advice would be that it's very good to be flexible, uh, always. So um, I think all the students have invested a lot of time and energy and cost in uh, getting, at, getting into EMI. I think uh, the, the main uh, giveaways that I can give to students is uh, be flexible as soon as you graduate. Um, Make sure that you find something that you enjoy. Uh, it's really important to find something uh, that you really like. So invest the time at EMI to understand where you want to go. Um, and then right out of the course, basically pursue uh, that direction. And then, um, you know, money and promotions and uh, fulfillment of other criteria will automatically follow.